Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, it's me Tess, and today I have an American Girl video for you. I am going to be showing what some of my dolls are wearing for spring slash Easter. I did not change all of my dolls, but I did change some of them over the course of a few weeks. And I just wanted to show you what they're wearing for the spring and for the spring season. And yeah. And then as you can see, this is the hotel and spa set that I decorated for Easter. I did add and change a little, some things. Like I added this yellow frill over here. Um, I put the, ba the um, babysitting itty bitty baby on the bed and she's holding the chicks and the bunnies there. And then I ended up putting a fairy over there and ended up putting the other fairy up there. I also added some, uh, a leaf green <laughs> I don't know why I just did <laughs> so yeah that's those are some differences and then there's the dolls so yeah let's get into this video first up we have Rosa Rosa is wearing this retired American girl floral dress I forget what it's called um it's just this dress it's very cute very springy I just left her hair down um and then she has these mary janes i don't know why i didn't put the original shoes that came with this because these don't really go with that but hey i guess i did that um <laughs> hear that that is rosa and she is truly me 121. next we have maritza and she is wearing this yoga outfit i believe you can still get it it actually correlates with the with the set actually um yeah, so here's the shirt. It says Namaste. And it has this flower. And then on the pants, I don't know, they're sliding down. <laughs> um, it has gold on the elastic part of the leggings. And then the leggings are, I don't know. I think it's a greenish color, but I'm not sure what shade of green it is. And it has pink flowers and uh, green stems and it's just a cute outfit I did not put the shoes on some of these dolls are not wearing shoes I do not know why because I have the shoes and yeah I did not put the gold headband on it's very hard to put the gold headband on um, but I did put a bobby pin in her hair it's just keeping this out of her face and that is Marisa and she is from the world by us line that is sadly retired and I'm very disappointed that it's retired but yeah that's Maritza. Next we have Lainey. And Lainey is wearing an outfit from her collection. So it has this white jacket that has a green dragonfly on the side of the jacket. It has faux pockets. They don't really work. Um, real buttons. This jacket does button. When you open the jacket, you have a yellow shirt with a really cute embroidered owl and stem and leaves and then some swirls very cute and then we have jeggings which comes with this outfit and I do not know why I didn't put shoes on because I have the shoes they're the rain boots I don't know I have them I don't know why I didn't do that I may before the video ends put on the shoes that are not on these girls and then show them again but yeah that's Lainey she is Lainey Holland, Girl of the Year 2010. Next we have one of my favorite dolls. Actually, all the dolls that I've changed are my favorites. <laughs> they get changed the most out of my collection. That's why they are in this video. Um, but this is Indigo. She's truly me 49. And she is sadly retired. I don't know what American Girl was thinking when they retired this beauty because she's so unique, but <laughs> she's gorgeous. Um, she is wearing this custom made dress. It's called, um, a milkmaid dress. Um, I forget what the pattern is called and I forget, I, I forgot the person who made it. Um, I will have to put it on the screen when I find that. And then she's wearing these red and white Converse style shoes from, I believe, Sophia's um the that doll company I got them from benefit sale 
and I got her from benefit sale too. So yeah, that is Indigo. Truly me, number 49. Next we have Nezuko. Nezuko is so cute. She's a Jess mold doll and she's truly me, 84. I got her from benefit sale. Um, she was in that one, I don't think, I don't know if it was a Costco bundle, but um, the ballerina, it came with that, that beautiful pink ballerina outfit that's like velvet filling. And then it came with another like practice ballet outfit. I don't know how to describe it, but she's Truly Me 84. And she is wearing a retired Truly Me meat shirt. It's so cute. This is the shirt that they use. I believe it was the, it was the second, it was the second, well, um, yeah, the second meat outfit when they launched Inner Star U, which I'm so sad it's gone because I loved Inner Star U. That was my jam. Um, the skirt she's wearing is from uh, the Harry Potter collection. And she has these socks. I believe they are American Girl. I am not sure if they're Claudie's, Cecile's, or who else wears the socks? Okay, never mind. I know for a fact they're not Elizabeth's because Elizabeth's go up a little higher. So I don't know if they're Claudia or Cecile's, but that's what she's wearing. And then she has the Black Mary Janes. Again, the shoes, I am not sure if they're Claudia's or from the Harry Potter set, but that is what Nezuko's wearing. Again, she is truly me, 84. She is retired. However, they remade her. Um, I forget her number, what she is now, but um, she's this doll, but with eyelashes now. I believe she's 108. Don't quote me on that. I could be wrong. I don't know the numbers yet. <laughs> Our next doll is Covey. C Covey is wearing this sheer shirt. It has a lot of different patterns on it. Lots of flowers. Very cute. Um... So, um, sorry, Claudie's Meet Cardigan and these My Life As leggings. They are the same or similar color, pretty much the same color as Claudie's Meet Cardigan, like this minty green color. Very pretty. Love. It's a really pretty blue color. And then she's wearing the retired uh truly me meat outfit boots they're the brown boots with the green butterflies on the side i love these boots i'm constantly using them i absolutely adore them i love these boots they are one of my favorite pieces in my american girl collection so yeah that's covey and covey is covey sharma girl of the year um last year 20 2023 yeah, that's Covey. Oh wait, I did do her hair. I put a little twist and a bobby pin to keep it in place. So yeah, there's Covey. Next up we have my mini me, mini Tess. And she is wearing this bright yellow shirt. Um, I'm unsure, I'm pretty sure it comes with one of Kira's outfits. I don't know why I brought, I don't know why I didn't bring Kira down here. She is, I'll, I'll have to bring her down. Um, she is wearing one of Kira's, a shirt from Kira's collection. I believe it goes with that purple romper. Or not romper, it's not a romper, uh, overalls. That is in her collection. I forget the name of the outfit. She has this unbranded, what do you call this, like, uh, I don't know the name for this. Like, a <laughs> uh, shawl? I don't think it's a shawl. Um, but anyway, it's it's a tan. It's tan colored. And it's unbranded. I don't. I don't know what brand made this. I've had this for very long since I started collecting American Girl back in two thousand nine. So yeah, she has 
this jean skirt which is also unbranded because um it's also from the same company that made this whatever you call this um and yeah i had it for a long time and then she has on white converse style sh <coughs> converse style shoes uh, i got these from a vendor at benefit so i believe from sophia's and then she has a yellow headband and this yellow headband is also from benefit sale i got it from a vendor and this and she has on these really cute bracelets that i've gotten from friends i got i believe this blue one from dollies and rainbows or rainbows and dollies mal um very popular in the ag community loved her she got she gave this to me from benefit sale um i forget who gave me this one i believe i got it from the american girl store someone was giving them out because we had a meetup and it might have been from monica um american girl i'll have to put her username because it, it is pronounced america like american girl but it makes better it would make better sense if i put it on the screen and then these i got from benefit sale as you can see it says ag bs which is ag benefit sale and then this one says ag it is blue yeah i got that from benefit sale i believe i got it from i'll put the name on the screen for who i believe i got it from i'm not positive on that but yeah so she gets to wear all the friendship bracelets because she's my mini me and yeah so and she's truly me one two three one twenty three she's so cute and she has the mccain face mold which is my face minus the only difference that we have is our eyes my eyes are more almond shaped and hers are circle but she's so cute and still my mini me next we have ultramarine my one and only cyo create your own and she is the chest mold she is wearing this custom made dress i got it from someone at benefit sale i'm so sorry i forget who gave it to me so and i can't even put it on the screen because i don't even i don't know their instagram handle or anything um if you're watching this video please comment your name and so that i can properly uh give you credit because this is a beautiful dress i absolutely love it it's so soft and i love this dress and then she has the something navy gold sparkly sandal shoes i just put a bobby pin in her hair to keep this side from going in her face she's wearing blue earrings with star dangles so she is a create your own she is one of a kind i made her um, she has the second darkest skin tone, not the darkest, but the second darkest, freckles, and she has heterochromia, meaning she has two different colored eyes. This eye is gray, the other eye is blue, and that is just because I wanted her to have eyes like Shoto from My Hero Academia, and yeah. And then I wanted her to have freckles like Deku. <laughs> I wanted her to have a similar skin tone to me. So she's very inspired by some of my favorite animes. And yeah, I wanted her to have long hair because it's very anime-esque. So obviously she is into anime. Um, but yeah, that's Ultramarine. Next we have Lila. <laughs> Lila, I almost didn't put in this video because this really doesn't look spring or Easter-ish. But I did change her recently and no, and you guys haven't seen her in this outfit. So therefore I included her. Um, she has this jacket, which I got from someone on Instagram. They didn't make it. Um, I just purchased this outfit from them. It's so cute. It's very well made. I, I wish I knew who made it. But yeah, underneath she has her leotard. I guess, I guess that's springy. That's colorful. We'll, we'll go with that and then she has this tan pleated skirt which is so so cute same person who gave me this jacket gave me the skirt and then she's wearing grace's meat boots 
so cute and then her hair is still in her meat hairstyle i have not taken it out i don't know if i will or if i won't i don't know i don't i really like it and i don't know if i'll take it out or not but she is lila minetti girl of the year 2024 of this year so yeah that's Lila. I did end up grabbing kira so here is kira she is wearing a purple long sleeve shirt this shirt is from her collection it goes with her scrubs outfit um she has on this unbranded jacket it's brown it's corduroy it's really cute and the pockets are real uh, unfortunately, over the years, the, bu the buttons fell off, so it no longer can button, but it's okay. I still love the jacket, nonetheless. Uh, she's wearing these denim jeans, which are unbranded. Same company that I got this jacket from. I've had this since 2009. Uh, I love these jeans. And then she's wearing purple shoes from her scrubs outfit. And then she has this clip in her hair, and just one, yes. Uh, it's from, it's also from the Scrubs outfit, I believe. So yeah, that is Kira Bailey. Kira, Kira Bailey is Girl of the Year 2021, I believe. Yeah, 2021. Yeah, she's 2021. Girl there 2021. Yes. Yeah. It's Kira Bailey. Next we have Grace. My absolutely my absolute dream doll. I am so happy to have her in my collection. Oh, she's stunning. Love her. She is wearing a retired bitty baby Easter dress. I forget the the exact name. I only have the dress and the hat. I did not put the hat on. It's too big for her head but this is the dress it's very well made it's so so pretty and it fits because it ties it ties in the back so I put a little bow in the back she has on these um tights white tights I don't know what brand they're either our generation or my life as I'm gonna assume our generation she has and then she has Cinderella's meat glass slippers on. Not really glass slippers. So yeah, I, I do have I do have Cinderella and I do have Tiana. They're the only two Disney princesses I snagged because Ariel wasn't doing it for me. I couldn't find one I liked, so I didn't pick up Ariel. Otherwise, if I did find one I liked, I would have had all three. I do plan on getting Ariel in the future though. But yeah, here's her shoes. And yeah, that's Grace Thomas. Grace Thomas is Girl of the Year 2015. Next we have Finley. Finley is so cute. She is wearing the Something Navy dress that I believe that came out last year. It's so pretty. I love the poofs. It kind of gives me um, kind of like the Princess Core, Royal Core vibes with this it's just so so pretty um it's white and navy blue so the navy blue comes from the flowers that are all or that are printed all over the dress very cute dress and then she has on her meat boots i know they don't really doesn't really go but um i <laughs> haven't really taken off her boots since i got her she's she was my christmas present and then she has on the this tan colored headband that's keeping her hair back i got this from benefit sale from a vendor and yeah let's take a look at her hair because she has very pretty hair look at that it is so pretty she's so gorgeous and then she's also another one of my favorites and then she has on her earrings i believe you can take them out but i'm not going to they will always be in her ears so that's finley finley is the fao schwartz limited edition doll from last year i believe from she came out in 
she was the first one to come out and I believe it was either I think it was when was it because the, the Rapunzel Rapunzel Belle and Jasmine I believe were the August ones no, I think she was August. They were September. She came out in August of last year. So yeah, she's so cute and I got her for Christmas and I absolutely adore her. I'm so glad to have her in my collection. I just wanted to introduce these two to my collection, Cinderella and Tiana, my newest additions. I did have an unboxing for them. However, my computer ran out of space so I could not upload it. And it was 52 minutes long and I couldn't cut it. I couldn't find a way to cut it shorter. So yeah, I got them. I got her whole collection. I got her maid dress. I just didn't get her pink dress. And then I got Ariel's whole collection. I just didn't get Ariel. Um, so yeah, that's Cinderella and Tiana. I absolutely adore them. I'm so glad they're in my collection. And I can't wait to add Ariel when I find a good one and I can't wait for the next wave of dolls. If I had all the money, I would try and get Belle and Jasmine, but Belle is selling for a lot on the secondhand market right now. And Jasmine's still available, so I could probably get her. So yeah, um, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe, and we'll see you next video. Bye.